Hello, this is Mike Fauché, a.k.a. PC Doc. I'd like to walk through um, how you set up a mirror as well as a stripe uh, in, in storage spaces. So let's walk through a little bit how you get to it. So first I'm going to go into the control panel. I'm going to go over to System and Security. And I'm going to go into Storage Spaces. Um, the first thing it's going to want me to do is create a storage pool. So I'm going to go ahead and click Storage Pool, say yes. And I've got three 2 terabyte drives in there, so I'm going to go ahead and leave those checked on. And I'm going to go ahead and create pool. Okay, so now it's it's at the configuration screen, so I now have the option of using and or configuring in any way I'd like. And I have a choice of none, two-way mirror, three-way mirror, and parity. So let's start with a, um, a traditional stripe. So I'm going to go ahead and click none. And basically what that's going to do is just going to go ahead and pull my drives. <clears throat> now, one of the things that's unique in storage spaces is the ability to... Uh, it tells you your storage pool capacity, your available capacity, and it allows me to customize the, the logical size. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at 2.72 uh, terabytes. I could make it anything I'd like if, if I want to make it a different size. Um, at this point, I'll cre cre create uh, storage space, and it'll go ahead and create the pool for me. And I now have a, a G drive that's 2.71 terabytes in size. So now if I look at my, my computer, it's going to show me under computer, it's going to show me that I have the G drive, which is 2.71 in terabytes in size. So let's go on to the next phase, and let's actually delete this storage space. So I'm going to go ahead and click on delete, and I'm going to hit delete storage space, and of course it's going to cream out everything I have on the drive, which I don't happen to have anything on it right now, so it's not a problem. And I'm back to the main screen. Um, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and click Create Storage Space again. And now it gives me, I'm going to go ahead and, and try something different. So uh, instead of picking none and just having a larger pool, um, what I'm going to do is pick a two-way mirror. So two-way mirror gives me the redundancy across two drives. So again, I have a choice of picking whatever size I would like. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at again at the default just for this experiment. Click on create storage space. It's now formatting the drive and again I now have if I go to my computer properties, click on computer, I still have a G drive that's 2.71 terabytes in space uh or in storage or in size I should say. Um, bearing in mind that this is now in a mirrored configuration, so my, my data is actually put into two separate physical drives. So, um, going into the third and final configuration, I'm again going to delete this particular storage pool, or storage space. And I'm going to recreate a new storage space. Again, this time I'm going to pick a three-way mirror. I'm again leaving it at the default size. Um, again, I can make it smaller or larger. Um, and one of the things I want to mention is that this actually uses a, um, a more or less a provisioning. So if I do pick a larger size than I have available space, it will still create it at the maximum size available. And then, of course, as I add drives, it will continue until that space is reached. So that's a really important feature in storage spaces. So let's go ahead and click Storage Space, Create, Format. And in just a few seconds, I'll again have a drive that this time is the same size, but in uh, three levels or two levels of redundancy on top of my main drive. So. What I have now, if you look at my computer properties, is again I have a G drive that's actually three mirrored layers. So um, probably an overkill for most situations, but it's nice to know that you have that option and that you can create it at any time. So that's a quick overview of setting up a mirror as well as a stripe. Thank you.